Well, this is all very pleasant, Tim. Tom. Tom? <laughs> ah, nothing like a log fire, hmm? <laughs> Tell me, where do you buy your logs? Uh, we don't. We wait till the trees fall over on the common from Dutch Elm disease, and then we haul them home. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. You've got your own lorry, have you? Not exactly, no. It's a trolley with four pram wheels. Oh. Oh. Here we are. We call this the Peapod Express. Ah, home brew. Yeah, now, be careful. It's very powerful. <laughs> My dear Tim, I have drunk tequila in Mexico City, schnapps in Berlin, and sake in Kyoto. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Told you. Well, now, you may have thought this was a social gathering, but, uh, in fact, I do have an ulterior motive. I know. You want me to give Jerry his job back? <laughs> yes, all right, I do. Why should I? I'll tell you. But first of all, let me say this. You're not a fool and I'm not going to treat you like one. I'm not going to waste time going all around the houses to try and find some infinitely subtle way to influence your decision. I'm just going to come straight to the point. When? <laughs> <laughs> but let me add this. I used to work for you and I walked out, right? So now we're just two ordinary blokes, right? Now, I'm not going to be about the bush. I'm just going to say what I think. Yes, but what is it? <laughs> Jerry's a nice bloke. <laughs> Any more wine? Well, Jerry is a nice bloke. So? Well. Well what? Well, nice blokes shouldn't be sacked for putting their wives before their jobs. Oh, I think that's me to decide. Anything else? Yes, lots. Barbara? Yes. Yes, actually, I do have something to say. Why don't you think of the woman in this? Think of Margot. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred, she's been the unofficial hostess for your company. It's like United Nations next door sometimes. I mean, she entertains Russians, French, Belgians. If you said there were 50 Eskimos coming for dinner, she'd be down the shops trying to buy whale blubber. <laughs> so what was the difficulty with one single Dutchman last weekend? Well, that bitch has her own life, too, for heaven's sake. I think I'll have a drop more of that, if I may. All right. Maybe this'll do it. I was your top designer at JJM, wasn't I? Yes. All right. You take Jerry back. I'm willing to take on any freelance work your fellows can't handle. And I might tell you this is a contradiction of terms of the way I lead my life, and I don't do it lightly. You don't have to. I found a better designer than you. <laughs> Nice bloke. Oh, there you go, you see. You charge your whole argument with emotionalism. This is a waste of time. Now, I'm a businessman. Now, as a businessman, the one thing that might sway me would be if you were to tell me that Jerry was the kind of efficient executive that I need. Well, he is. I know. That's why I've decided to keep him on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I may have been a bit liverish when I fired him anyway. Putting the fear of God into one's executives never does him any harm. No, if he's learned his lesson, I'm quite prepared to reinstate him. Then why do you watch us wriggle and squirm when you've already decided? Are you some sort of a sadist? No, I just thought that you might like to give Jerry the news. I mean, I'm certainly not going to approach him personally. I thought I might use you as a kind of whoa, filter system. This isn't a switch farm. <laughs> Will you tell him or not? Yes, all right, I'll tell him. Good. Well, I think I'd better be going. Thanks for the drink. Oh, not at all. Thanks for making us better people. Uh, just, just, just tell me one thing, would you? When you say, if Jerry has learned his lesson, you mean if he comes crawling back on all fours, licks your boots and says sorry for being a naughty boy? Yes, I suppose I do in so many words. Cool. And just what the hell do you give him back in exchange? 18,000 a year, an expense account and a company car. Good night. <laughs> No, James, no, it's not that I particularly want to leave JJM. No, just the one likes to keep the old ear to the ground, you know. <laughs> what? Oh, you've heard. Yes. Yes, well, all right, James, put it like that. Yes, I do want a job. No. No, of course not. No, well, it's just a thought. Well, I'll see you around sometime, James. Yeah, and to Margaret. Yes, you must both... I do hope you get dysentery soon, James. <laughs> So much for James and Maggie Preston. At least we won't have to listen to any more of those interminable stories about her womb. <laughs> I'm beginning to realise what it must have been like to have the plague. Yes. 
Even that social climber, Veronica Naismith, cut me dead in the hairdressers today. I hope you cut her back. I certainly did. Her auburn rinse is no longer a secret in Surbiton. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tom and Barbara are the only real friends we've got. And I'm beginning to see that. It's just a shame they don't have any influence or money. Well, we're heading for a recession. Well, we'll be able to economise on Christmas cards anyway. The number of people we've cut off our list. I've been thinking about having to economise, Jake. In fact, I've already made a start. Bless you. Well, you know Mrs Pearson comes in five days a week to clean. Yes. I've told her that from now on it'll only be three. <laughs> Thank you, Margot. Sir, Ma and Pa Kettle from next door. Can we come in? Yes, of course, Tom and Ma. Have a drink. Oh, yes, please. I could use one. Who's been ruffling your feathers? The Marquis de Sard. Who? Sir, Andy. Oh. Oh, you've no idea how close I came to letting him have it with that bottle. When? Just now. We asked him round to try and persuade him to get Jerry's job back. Oh, that was kind. You'll never know how near he came to ending up in my effluence digester. <laughs> no, don't mind, Tom. Thanks for trying, anyway. Oh, you can have your job back any time you like. What? Cheery. Oh, yes, yeah, just make your public confession, a couple of hours on a ducking stool, sackcloth and ashes for a month. I'm here. Don't worry, he's got a lot to learn yet, that man. A lot to learn about people, that man, I can tell you. I'll learn to learn about Jerry. Right. If he really thinks that Jerry will simply... Hello, sir. Yes. <laughs> Jerry here. Yes, yes, I say, awfully decent of you about this, sir. Very decent indeed. Yes, yes. Oh, I absolutely agree, sir. Andrew and Felicity must come to dinner soon. As Margot says, yes, you must come round to dinner soon. Well, any time you like, sir. Open house here, you know that, sir. Should we go and play with our chickens? <laughs> Saturday, that will be fine, yes. How many? Eight. Yes, bring them all along. All Japanese. How interesting. I've always I... wanted to cook seaweed. Margot, she's <laughs> always wanted to cook seaweed. Yes.